हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल फार्मास्यूटिकल कंसेप्ट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो लेट इज लर्न अबाउट नाइट्राइट टाइट्रेशन टूडे वॉट इज नाइट्राइट टाइट्रेशन दिस पर्टिक्युलर टाइट्रेशन इज यूज फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द प्राइमरी अमाइंस विच हैव न्यूक्लियर अमाइनो ग्रुप्स एंड दीज such primary amines can be determined quantitatively by measuring the value of standard sodium nitrite solution required to convert these aromatic primary amines into diazonium salts since the formation of diazonium compounds by diazotization reaction The, uh, the reaction or the titration is called as diazotization titration uh, or sodium nitrite titration why because you, we are using sodium nitrite as a titrant in this particular titration and these diazonium salts which are formed these are unstable and they can get readily decomposed at elevated temperatures and this can easily lead to side reaction and may give us wrong results and to eliminate this problem the titration is usually carried out at low temperatures okay approximately 15 degrees or for some instances for certain uh, amines the temperature is maintained between 10 to 15 degrees celsius okay and thus this is also called as sodium nitrite titration and since the diazotization reaction is involved we call it as diazotization titration also so in this diazotization reaction we have seen that aromatic amines that is primary aromatic amines are converted to their diazonium salts so this is diazonium salt okay now this is done with the help of sodium nitrite the sodium nitrite we take in burette and the acidic condition is maintained in the conical flask okay and this sodium nitrite when it falls from the burette into the conical flask where the acidic uh, ph is maintained there it gets converted into nitrous acid and this nitrous acid then reacts with the primary aromatic amine and it gets converted into diazonium salt so this nh2 gets converted into this functional group so we have seen that the titrant here is sodium nitrite the analyte is nothing but the primary aromatic amines and hence the sulfa drugs like sulfonamides sulfa acetamide sodium these are commonly assayed by nitrite titration where the diazotization reaction is involved so what is the indicator used in this particular titration the indicator used during nitrite titration is the special type of indicator which is called as external indicator why we call it as external indicator because unlike other titrations we are not adding this indicator in the sample solution means in the conical flask we will not add this indicator instead we are using the starch iodide paper or starch iodide paste as the indicator so this starch iodide paper or the starch iodide paste which is our indicator that we will keep ready on the tile so suppose it is paper it is just like our a ph paper or litmus paper so uh, small strips are available so we will keep these papers ready on a uh, piece of tile okay and in conical flask we have this reaction mixture which is nothing but the aromatic amine and uh, acidic ph is maintained here from burette the nano2 is that is sodium nitrite is added so when we add this titrant drop by drop we will stir 
this reaction mixture or this analyte solution we will stir with the help of glass rod with each addition after stirring with the help of this glass rod a drop of the analyte solution will be placed on the ph paper on on this uh, starch iodide paper okay this starch iodide paper will remain will not change its color unless and until the reaction is complete okay the paper turns dark blue in color at the end point so whenever the color of paper is changed means the reaction is complete and the equivalence point is reached so that color change of the starch iodide paper is our end point this starch iodide paper or paste is prepared by immersing a filter paper in starch mucilage and potassium iodide solution so this paper no it has starch on it plus potassium iodide on it at the end point the excess nitrous acid formed liberates iodine okay this iodine reacts with starch mucilage of the paper and turns it blue in color let us understand this with the help of reactions so here if you see in the burette we have this sodium nitrite in conical flask i have the primary aromatic amine and hcl okay so this nano2 when i add to this solution what will happen first is this reaction this nano2 in presence of hcl gets converted into nitrous acid now this nitrous acid which is formed okay this nitrous acid is formed inside this conical flask only so this nitrous acid will then react with the primary aromatic amine and it will get converted into its diazonium salt okay so this n2cl is the diazonium salt okay so drop by drop drop by drop when i add this sodium nitrite each molecule of this primary aromatic amine gets converted into its respective diazonium salt but now when all the molecules of primary aromatic amine are over in the conical flask okay so there is no more amine present in the flask so the next extra drop of nano2 okay will form the nitrous acid and since this nitrous acid doesn't have any primary aromatic amine left to react with this will react with the hi now from where this hi has come this hi is made from this ki which is on the starch iodide paper okay so these reactions are happening on the starch iodide paper with the help of glass rod see i am stirring this mixture with the help of glass rod so this glass rod with the help of this glass rod i am placing the drop of the analyte solution on this paper on this paper there is ki and starch and there is hcl in this analyte solution so that ki and hcl will react and this hi is formed okay the excess hno2 now will react with the hi and iodine is liberated now this iodine will find starch around which is on the paper so this iodine will react with the starch and color of the paper will be turned blue and that is the end point of the reaction i hope you have understood the concept if you have any doubts you can type in chat box do share the video and click on the bell icon to know the latest updates thank you very much for watching till the end